Hello, Pokemon fans. This is Pro Pokenew back today to bring you another battle. I looked at the editing and how well that software went. It actually turned out pretty well. Kind of psychedelic colors. That's because uh, it's just whatever happened with the contrast with this format of the video. It's Microsoft Video One or something like that. Yeah, it is. So I just had to change the contrast a little bit. Made it a little bit darker, but you know it looks actually a lot better than being choppy and it's not as choppy anymore so I'm really happy about that so I will be using this uh, more often the only thing that I'm worried about is I have a limited amount of free internet uploading and downloading so if this becomes too much because the upload value went from 20 megs to like 700 megs which is really strange but if it comes to the point where it becomes too costly to my internet because I have to share it between four people in my house then once in a while I'll just do my ghetto recording where I just held myself up to the mic and to the speakers and just did it that way it still turned out well either way so uh, hopefully I don't have to do that too much but that's why I'm hoping I can get these in and we'll all have fun anyways back to the real thing Pokemon I have a standard OU match today against a person by the name of Reach Zero I'm bringing my normal OU team, my weatherless team. He's bringing a hail team. A couple things to note, this battle was before uh, Obama Snow became OU, and I'm not exactly sure, but I'm pretty sure QREM was not OU at this point. It was November 14th that I had this, so I don't think he was in OU yet. He was still, I think, on the cusp, maybe BL. I don't remember him being in OU at this point. but. He's bringing hail, which is going to annoy me a little bit, as you will see in this match. So let's get this started for you. He's going to lead off with his Starmie as I lead off with my Sash Infernape now. He obviously doesn't know what my Infernape does because he's going to stay in here and pretty much suffer. I go for the Fake Out to flinch him on the first turn. I see he has leftovers, so I'm not too concerned. I'm just going to go for the Thunder Punch. And him seeing this kind of just worries him after he hits me with the Hydro Pump. I'm pushed down to my Sash. I really don't care. Infernape is just meant to take out leads or anything that's not expecting this. And I just finish him off with a second Thunder Punch because he figures it's not useful anymore. Now he's going to send in his Abomasnow, and I should have, and I did predict this, but I made a terrible mistake. He switched, he double switches into his Heatran, and I went for Overheat. And you know, you knew, I knew he was going to do that. And yet I decided not to listen to myself, so that's unfortunate, but, you know, he's not too concerned. I'm just going to send in my my Swampert so he can't abuse that Flash Fire. He has to switch out and go into his Bomb Snow to resist my Earthquake. Does a decent amount, looking a little bit more like a defensive set, but I'm also just my Stealth Rock standard uh, Swampert. So I'm going to actually switch out and go into my Lucario to resist any hit he could do, and he goes for the sub. Okay, so looking more like a sub setup, sub seed perhaps. Don't really get to see much of it, but I'm just going to break his uh, substitute with an Aura Sphere as he actually ends up going for the Blizzard. Now, I wouldn't mind this too much if I wasn't taking both Life Orb and Hail Damage every turn. So that was actually kind of painful on my Lucario, which sucks. He's going to switch on his Jirachi to take the Aura Sphere a little bit better. Still does a decent amount. He might have a little bit of a special uh, defense investment, but... At this point, I really don't want to lose Lucario yet, so I'm going to switch into my Swampert just to see what he's going to do. He's going to go for the Wish. Now, I know he's going to pass it off to something, so what I'm going to do is, whether he stays in and goes for Protect, I don't care. If he's going to pass it off to that Obama Snow, I'm going to go for the Roar to ruin whatever he wants to do, and look at that. Obama Snow comes out, I use the Roar, give it to a fully healed QRM, and that's a nice ruined Wish Pass. So, once again, one of my amazing predictions, of course. <laughs> So now he's going to go for the Blizzard, and that hurts. I'm guessing he's Scarfed, otherwise if that was Specs, it would have most likely killed me. But I'm just going to set up the Stealth Rocks before I die to Hail. Swampert did what he had to do. Now I send in my Scarf Gengar. He obviously doesn't expect me to be Scarfed, because I get a Crit Focus Blast on him. Thank goodness it hit. And that's exactly what I needed. So now he's going to send in Deoxys Speed at the time when it was OU. And I'm going to switch out of here, because I'm pretty sure Gengar is going to give me some use later on. I'm going to go into Celebi as he actually goes for the Psycho Boost. Now I don't see Life Orb and Leftovers or anything that he might be Sash, I don't know. At this point I really can't guess his item, Expert Belt, Sash, Light Clay, because that's what they do, right? It's it's common for Deoxys Speeds to be confusing. I go for the Nasty Plot as he switches out to Jirachi, maybe thinking that he doesn't want to stay in and I can hit him. Anyways, I go for the Earth Power, perhaps he didn't know I had that, but I went for it at plus two, and that's going to take out the Jirachi easily. 
So now he's going to set his Deoxys speed, which makes me think maybe he was Specs? Because if it was Scarfed, he wouldn't switch out on my Gengar. I don't know exactly, but he's going to go for the Ice Beam. And again, not going to take me out, but my third Pokemon that's going to fall to Hail, just because they have that much HP left. Which is fine, Lucario is just to check what this thing's going to do. Now I sent out Gengar, the fact that he switches out makes tells me that he's not Scarfed. Now, I predict this easily. I easily predicted that he was going to go into Heatran. Not to show off, but it's true, you know. That was a really easy prediction on my part, so I go straight for the Focus Blast. But of course, you know, when you get something so good, you have to have something bad happen to you, which is missing the second Focus Blast and getting smashed in the face with a Lava Plume. Now, uh, what I've actually been learning from other battlers is if I see Lava Plume and a Heatran taking really good hits, it means it's a bulky set that's specially defensive. So that's probably what this one is. But the second Focus Blast is going to take it out, which is nice. I need that thing out of the way. So now he sends in Deoxys Speed. I figure there's no point in switching out Gengar. I just want to get as much damage, hopefully, off on Deoxys as I can. So this match, I get 3 for 4 with Focus Blasts. Bring Deoxys Speed, Deoxys speed pretty low. And he's going to take me out with an Ice Beam. Now I figured at this point I have Haxorus and Celebi left. So I thought this was pretty much game because, you know, he's going to outspeed me, obviously. Kill me off with an Ice Beam. And I'm hoping, please, hail kill him off. Kill him off, Hale. No, you give him 1%. I'm like, ah, that's good game, man. That's good game. He had 1 HP left. He actually told me 1 HP. So he goes for Psycho Boost and I... Wait, what? I'm not dead. I'm not dead. I go for Dragon Claw, just having fun with it. I kill him off, and I get left with 3 HP, and then he sends in a Bomb of Snow, and I'm like, okay. I go for Brick Break. I win the match. I won 1-0 with 3 HP on a Haxorus, resisting a stab Psycho Boost from a Deoxys Speed. Why? Because Deoxys Speed is not offensive, it should never be offensive, but it was offensive, and didn't kill me. Yeah. It scared me too. But anyways, that was an excellent match, reach zero, a very close 1-0. I, to be quite honest, I don't know what item that, that, uh that Deoxys Speed had. If it had Expert Belt, maybe he would have gone for Ice Beam and that would have finished off Haxorus easily, but I'm guessing it had something like maybe just Focus Sash and it's offensive, or maybe it did have Dual Screen, he just didn't see a point in it. Nonetheless, that will be the game for today. Comment, rate, and subscribe, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this match. I found it very... Um, it, it was a really large shift in momentum at many points, me and him just taking leads everywhere, but... Uh, I figured that's how I could finish off this week. So I hope this is still looking okay on the uploads, and I will see you guys back here on Monday. Have an excellent weekend. Peace.